Hello, Chris from Boo here, and we've got an unusual one for you today. We've been asked by XSTAR to review these, and these are their new generation lithium-ion AA batteries. And as we're battery-operated orchestra, we figured, well, why not? Now, before we start, in the name of transparency, XSTAR sent us two packs of the new batteries. Other than that, no money has changed hands, and XSTAR don't get a say in the content of this review, and they also don't get to have a say in the review before it's published. So we usually do reviews and demos of synths, but how on earth do you review batteries? Well, okay, let's go. Here's the box, and it tells us that they're rated at 3000 mAh, which is quite a lot for a AA battery. And on the side, it tells us they can be charged individually or via a standard charger. They have a lifespan of 1200 cycles have no memory effects, which is a phenomenon where a battery's capacity is reduced due to repeated partial charging and discharging. We're also informed they won't leak and that they are green and economical. And round the back, we're informed that each battery has individual charge protection and that the output voltage is 1.5 volts linear, which means that they're designed to give a gently declining voltage in use, similar to alkaline batteries, but with a higher average voltage. Once the voltage drops to a certain level, the internal circuit disconnects the battery, preventing it from being damaged by overdraining. OK, so we've been up till now using these. These are the IKEA ladder batteries. These are rated at 2450 mAh, and we chose these after several online reviews compared them favourably with the more expensive Eneloop AA. These can be recharged up to 500 cycles, which is less than half that of the X-Stars. Now, we won't have time to test this claim because, yeah, we've got lives to live. And these batteries are rated for an output of 1.2 volts. That's 0.3 volts lower than the X-Star lithiums. The other reason we use ladders is this. On the box, it tells us ready to use. Now, nickel metal hydride batteries are very good at storing their charge for long periods, meaning you can charge them and put them away until needed, and they also have no significant memory effect. But something I didn't know is that lithium batteries also are rather good at holding their charge for long periods, so, well, I didn't know that. Um, I do now. So, let's take a look at what you get in the XTAR box. Let's open it up. It's an unboxing video. Here we go. So we get uh, four AA rechargeable batteries. Let's see if we can open this. Oh, that was pretty easy. Uh, it's quite a nice little carry case for them. Um, there they are. Each battery is, as you'd expect, a AA sized battery, except on the side, each battery contains a USB C charging port. Now, helpfully, inside the box, they've also included this four-headed hydra of a charging cable, which means you've got one standard USB plug on one end and four USB-C chargers on the other. So you can charge all four from just one output. On the XSTAR website, we're told you can use a standard phone charger or the output of a laptop or whatever. And it takes around three point something hours to charge these batteries. It's nice that they've included this cable on the one hand, because you know um, you don't have to use four individual USB-C plugs to charge four batteries. But on the other hand, I mean, I'm going to lose this. I mean, I'm pretty certain this is something I would almost instantly lose unless I carried it around with the box. You know, I guess if you're in a tight spot and you need to recharge your battery quickly and you don't have a charger to hand, um, if you've got this, you can charge all four. But if you don't, I mean, generally you can find a USB-C cable anywhere lying on the street. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's an interesting concept. So let's do our first little test. I've got the multimeter here and I'm going to open the ladders. They say they're ready to use. Let's see if that's true. Oh, what do you get in the ladders? Yep, you just get four batteries. Here they are. And then we are rated at 2450 mAh. Uh, AA, 1.2 volts is the output rated for these. So let's see what they come out of the box looking like. Just. Stick one terminal here. Oh, it's the wrong way around. It doesn't matter, we just need a number. We go 1.34, so that's unloaded. So obviously that will drop to 1.2 once there's actual load on the battery. But that's pretty good, straight out of the box. Now let's have a look at how the X-Stars fare straight out of the box. So negative terminal on the back, positive on the top. 1.58. 
So these have held their charge really well. So obviously that's unloaded. It probably dropped down to 1.5 when there's actually something using the current, but that's rather good. Well done, Xstar. Very good. 3000 mAh, 1.5 volts. Now the, the good thing about the fact that these are 1.5 volts as opposed to the 1.2 volts of the NIMH batteries is that there are certain electronic devices which don't actually enjoy having slightly less than the rated voltage going through them. We don't currently have that problem, but things like torches, you know, stuff like that, you're just never going to get as bright a torch out of this rechargeable battery as you are out of this rechargeable battery, just because there's that little bit of extra voltage there. And once you're up to like four cells, you know, you're losing a whole volt, maybe volt and a half. As you see, as you multiply the number of cells, you multiply the voltage drop and yeah, then you could run into problems. So that's where this actually scores highly over the other one. Interestingly, they obviously the charging circuitry inside is protecting the battery through charging, because obviously if you can plug a USB-C port straight into here, the circuitry inside is monitoring the cell itself and switches off the charger when it's fully charged. It also regulates the voltage because the chemistry of lithium uh, comes out at 3.7 volts, I think. Um, so obviously the the circuitry inside here is stepping the voltage down to 1.5 volts and it's also monitoring that voltage through the use of the battery and when it drops below a certain level it disconnects the battery to protect the circuit from being overdrained. So that's all rather good. Um, there's a lot of technology going on in here. Hmm. You know what I want to do now? I want to weigh it. Here's my scales. Turn it on. Here's the ladders. 30 grams. And the other ones, 2105. So they're lighter. Obviously, lithium is only the third element on the periodic table. So it's a light battery, but that doesn't mean it's got less power inside it. It's not generally a weight thing with lithium. OK, so now I'm going to give the X-Stars a full charge. And I'm going to do this in a rather meta way. I'm going to use this Charmast lithium ion battery to charge them with. So let's plug the power in here. And let's see what happens when you plug this in. Oh, a little light comes on. Isn't that delightful? Oh, how nice. There's a light inside the top metal cap button thing. Oh, I can't wait to plug them all in. Let's do it. Mm. Oh, there they go. That's nice. So remember, this is actually already pretty well fully charged, so this might not take so long. By the way, for price, the, the X-Stars are a little more expensive. I've seen prices of £20 for a pack of four double A's. That's around, I guess, a third more than the ladder, the IKEA ladder double A's. Let's just glory in the fact that these batteries light up for a second. Huh? What a time to be alive. And anyway, I leave them to charge for now. OK, as I said, Xstar sent us two sets of these batteries. So this is the other set, which we've been using for a little while now and testing. And I'll just let you know the results of what we've done. Oh, crikey, I can't. Yes. Whoops. So these we've been using with this. This is the Zoom Livetrack L6 mixer. It's a tiny battery operated digital mixer and it, we use it live, uh, which means we've been using it in rehearsals as well. It takes four double A's, which is great. And I'll just put these X stars in. Now there is a setting inside for choosing whether you're using nickel metal hydride or lithium or alkaline in here, but I haven't reset it, but it should work. So let's just turn this on, power on. On it goes. Yeah, that's great. So with the full effects we've been recording, this is a multi-track recorder as well. So it records each individual channel separately onto SD card. It records at 32-bit float, so there's no level control for the recording, and it will record the quietest thing to the loudest thing with no distortion whatsoever. It's very clever technology. It's also got built-in effects, built-in EQ, and all kinds of stuff, and aux sends and what have you. So we've been using this with the X-Star batteries now for a little while, and in comparison with the ladders, we on average get around two to three extra 
run-throughs of our 45-minute set. So that tells you how much longer these batteries actually last. And as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Um, I haven't actually run into any problems with the NIMH's lower voltage before, but I'm uh, guessing that at some stage I will run into a problem with a piece of equipment that doesn't enjoy eating less than 1.5 volts per cell. And it's very nice that Xtar give you this handy little container. It's all very well me telling you about how long they lasted in the gigs and uh, the shows and whatever. I've decided to invent a little visual test for these batteries. Um, so on the left, we have some standard alkaline batteries, which are brand new. In the middle, we have the IKEA ladders which are brand new and straight out of the box. And on the right, we have the X-Star lithium ion double A's, which have just been fully charged. And what I'm gonna do is start them up. So as you can see, there's bright blues in here. Now I'll start the NIMH, there they go. And now I'll start the X-Stars. Now as you can see straight away, hopefully you can see that, the X-Stars are brighter than both the ladders and the alkaline batteries. Now these are pretty cheap pound shop alkaline batteries, so they're not top of the range, but straight away you can see that the X-Stars are brighter than the ladders. That's because it's 1.5 volts, not 1.2. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set a stopwatch and I'm gonna leave them running and see who's the winner. So on your marks, get set, go. Just a little note about these color changing LED bulbs. You'll notice that the slightly more drained batteries on the left have already lost most of their blue content. So the blue LEDs inside these color changing bulbs takes a little bit more power than the other colors. And as the voltage drains away, you'll be left with basically the red LEDs flashing, just the red LEDs on their own. So you can see oh, the X-Stars of still bright blues are going on here. It may even be blowing out the camera, it's so bright. Uh, the blues are still happening here on the ladders, but only just, and we're already losing some blue from here. But let's leave them going and see who wins. I've got a feeling I know who's gonna win. Just wanna show you, this is 13 minutes in, and, Here's the alkaline batteries. Um, now I've got a feeling there was something wrong with these. Um, they must have been just a really bad lot because <laughs> they're already looking pretty poor. There's not very much blue content, still a bit of green. Uh, the reds are still there, but they're also quite a lot dimmer than the ladders. So the ladders are still going strong. There's a fair bit of blue content. They're doing quite nicely, thank you. Some of the blue has dropped off and that's just in the first 10 minutes. So let's go over to the X-Stars and they are a hell of a lot brighter and there's an awful lot more blue going on, which means there's an awful lot more charge going on. Um, just pull back so you can see all three together like that. So that's just after 10 minutes. Okay, so here we are, we're a little over 35 minutes into the test and I think we can already see what's going on here. I'm just going to bring down the exposure a little bit just to show you more clearly. So, the alkaline batteries have fallen off completely. I may as well discard those, in fact. Um, but the nickel metal hydride batteries have continued working, but as you can see there, there's much less blue content in these. Not only that, they're also dimmer than the X-Star lithium ion batteries, which are still producing a lot of blue power. Now this is because from the beginning, they were outputting 1.5 volts as opposed to the ladders 1.2 volts. So they already had an advantage. But if the figures are correct, they should continue producing that high blue content from the higher voltage throughout the length of the time these things are running. Um, but you can already see that the nickel metal hydrides have fallen off a little bit already. So yeah, that's all proven. So in summary, these output 1.5 volts, these only output 1.2 volts. These are rated at 3000 mAh. These are rated at 2450 mAh. So these should last that much longer. And finally, alkaline batteries have one charge cycle. And once they're dead, you throw them away or preferably recycle them. And the ladders are rated at 500 charge cycles, which means once you've used them up, you can recharge them up to 500 times. But the X-Star lithium ion batteries are rated at 1200 charge cycles, meaning they'll last more than twice as long as the ladders. And well, 1200 times as long as a standard set of batteries. So 
yeah, I'm rather impressed with these. A lot more impressed than I was expecting to be, I'm going to be honest, because I do love my ladders and we've been using them for years and we've not had any problems with them. But just this extra charge and the extra life makes the X-Stars an exciting proposition for the future. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this review video, why not try out our synthesizer review videos? Or if you make music and want to find out stuff about being in a DIY electronic band, why not watch the Bowcast? And while you're at it, why not subscribe? Thank you very much for watching. Um, yeah, I'm going to plug some things in now.